Uh, hello, happy Tuesday. It's a, the beginning of the week. The first day, Tuesday. And it's time to play some more Apico. In infinite bees. Hot new bee game. Gotta catch all the bees. Yeah, welcome Red Bee. Welcome anyone else that's here. Any any shapes of bees are welcome. Garfield bees, Kirby bees. Imposter look-alike bees. Everything. I just realized this game is a wiki button here. So maybe that'll be necessary. Alright, and turn the volume of the game up a little bit because I realized it was impossible to hear before. But let's get into it. I got Oh, I mean he... There's no grand you know plans for this game. You just catch all the bees. That's all you need to know. Okay, apparently, yeah, I'm further than in the Mario save file. It's nice to know. So I guess last time I built a little, uh, flower garden area. At least the beginnings of one. I guess I need to finish this. I figured out how to build in this game, basically. What the? Something messed up with the sound there. I figured out you can actually terraform in this game. It's like Minecraft. For some reason, I thought that wasn't a feature of the game. Apparently it was. Maybe this whole time. I don't know. Hug. Hug the bee. Actually, the bee's behind me today. It's not in the lap. It needed a rest. This is a good place for the composer Fox to hang out. As much as I like that song, I already heard the crap out of it in the playtest. Heard it too much. Alright, so yeah, I guess there's a couple things I can do. Let's see, I have a couple B... Oh, interesting. So once we complete the book, we'll get access to the God Realm. So I need to get access to the God Realm. That's a major checklist item. I can up... Oh, I thought that was something in the game. But turning up the volume of that makes it more convincing. Uh, I needed some... I needed to get God Realm. Godhood. Become a bee god. Collect all the bees. What else is there? To get all the upgrade items. I have all the flowers, I think, yeah. Get all the magazines, I need to get all the quests. There, There's a decent bit chunk of stuff to do in the game. Bees have been summoned. What's that? That's the map. Let's see. I have 16 bees. Okay, not 12. I thought I only had 12. Let me edit the stream title. The stream title is getting updated with how many bees I have. It's very important. Because I can explain the stream title as well. At some point. I have to visit, is it Swedish McDonald's? That's part of my list. Collect bees and go to McDonald's. I see. I guess that's not a bad deal. It's not a great one, but sure. I'll take it. Why McDonald's? Can I put the backpack in the backpack? Okay, no. I guess the most major thing is last time I got the ability to just summon trees. I am very powerful now. Let's see, so I guess let's go finish the florist build. Bees are going to be on a hiatus. We're just not going to mess with them at all. Uh, 
I will only... Only plant flowers. It's a little side mission. Because that's like a thing I can always do in this game. Wait, why is this randomly here? Can beautify the planet. Alright, so let me go ahead and empty my pockets. I think I do just want to... Pick up the florists and take them with me. Where do I put rocks? Oh, okay. I'm a little confused. What do I have in the honey cord chest? Nothing? Wait, where have I been putting flowers? Okay. I gave myself an extra workbench. I guess that counts as a tool? I have a shrub. I've collected wood. That's decor. Okay, the inventory is good now. I guess I need more honey core items. You go to lecture tomorrow? I mean, if you think the class will be... if it'll be worth it. I can't tell you if it'll be worth it, though. I guess I was the type of student that just went to every lecture every time, no matter what, but... Basically... Oh, okay, that kind of got me. It's like, huh? Wait, where on the screen? Because the game just does randomly give you notifications sometimes. It's like, wait, what'd I do? Alright, let's go kill someone and take them home. Murder. Wait, did I buy... I have infinite money. Let's go get the drip boat. Cargo boat? I forgot, I have like a thousand monies. Not to pass the buck from the fuddy-duddy. Okay, they've already talked to me about all this stuff. Do I have the acclimatizer? I think I do. Yeah, I need to discover 20 bees. Okay. Fart. Go to, class, go to your class if you think it's worth it, though. And if you think you won't miss anything, then maybe don't. I mean, especially my thing is I would always schedule classes to be next to each other, so... It's like, I would have to be on campus anyways. I guess boats count as a tool. Alright, let's adventure. I don't think they carry any fluids, but I guess just in case... I mean, I have a cargo boat, so I can- I can take anything I want. It's like a cargo minecart in Minecraft. People use those all the time, right? You have an over two hour window? <laughs> it sounds like you're not convinced, and if you can't convince yourself... You just don't, I guess. Uh, the only class I've ever thought about skipping out. They o it only had lecture like once a week. The reason I would want to skip it is because it was just one day a week, like two and a half hours. Kind of long and boring. Not ideal. Oh, here we go. We got the florist. Now we need to kill them. I hope they don't mind. This is all they have for a base. So we just give them a little wooden home like this with some carpet, some windows, and we're good. They have a bunch of flower pots, a little glass area. It's fine. They have wood that I didn't steal, apparently. I gotta steal all the resources. 
13 different types of flowers, crumbs. Didn't know so much variety existed. Come in properly. Ignore the stain. Sit. Have some tea. You must tell me everything. What? I guess you have infinite flowers, so... What's prime nerd behavior? What did I just say five seconds ago? I don't know. Alright, we stole all of their water, even though I don't think I even want to take the water with me. Our house actually looks kind of nice, because it's got the little dock. I guess I can... I'll just steal all of the water, even though I don't have any use for this much water, I don't think. I don't have enough honey to utilize it. There we go. Dehydration. I mean, do I just kill them? Uh-oh. Interesting. So their home is just made of that stuff. Alright, well... They've been slain. What? God damn it. Where even is the... Wait, what? Is that normal flooring? Okay, I guess I'll just leave this here. Do I just leave the crate? I guess I'll give them a crate in their home. They deserve that, at least. Like, how easy it is to just accidentally click the wrong thing. Oh, there we go. I can just hold down the mouse button. There we go. Mass demolition. Easy. I guess we'll put all the flowers in a backpack? Do I even need them? We'll just leave those ones there. That's a grisly reminder that someone used to live here, and then they were kidnapped. A shame. Oh, I wanted to check if I had all the requirements to teleport. I need to find the worker bee? I'm close to that one. Okay. Here's another thing to do in the game. Checklist thing. So I need to make a beeline for the worker bee. <laughs> um. Dang, I didn't think this game was that heavy. I thought it was just about bees. Where's relocation? Now you will work... In a flower factory. Nice... Nice new existence. It's okay, it won't be ba as bad as it sounds. I swear. Uh... There we go, they can just chill here somewhere for now. I mean, it's fine. The game does let you do it. They didn't mean anything harsh by it. Maybe. Okay, this water tank is going to instantly fill up, I think. Yep. 
I guess I could just make another barrel, but that would be make way too much sense. Make them your wife. Oh god. Turning Apico into Rimworld. A dark experience. Kidnap people and make them... And then marry them. And force them to raise bees. Alright, I guess I'll just make another barrel. What is waterproofing? What is waterproofing? <laughs> Alright, so I guess I finally will explain the stream title. In case you don't just watch the top 10 games on Twitch all the time. You probably haven't seen the video game V Rising trending. It's basically the same thing as Apico, except for with vampires instead of bees. Halfway not even joking. Both overhead, there's both both of base building and farming stuff. They're basically the same thing. There's people like vampires more instead of bees. So that that's that game's trending more. Wait, why is there another random piece of flooring? Is that what multiplayer is gonna be like? You just go you log back in and someone randomly placed a piece of wood somewhere? Don't name your firstborn B. I mean I feel like wouldn't B be a good name? And something people love. Am I a vampire? Morbius. Yeah, that's why I can't play the vampire game. It hits too close to home. I need something that's an escape. A B game. Instead. Huh, yeah, I don't get why there was random floor here. Okay. The V-Rising game looks pretty sick. It's it's more of a, like, Diablo-esque title. People say it's Diablo Valheim. Well, I guess it's just Minecraft Dungeons X Apico. You have to describe every game... As another video game. That's what it is. And probably something I put on a wish list and then maybe play like five years ago. Five years from now. It looks cool. It looks fun. Not high priority to play. Right, how much flooring will I need? Oh, you have to buy carpet? Where do I buy carpet? I look like a vampire a little. Um, I ate potatoes with garlic yesterday. You'll just have to take my word for it. And I've taken pictures outside. I think that, that disproves it completely. At least a little. Actually, what if we give them a stone flooring? The florist. Did that look... Better? Stone with wood walls and... Something. And, uh, something. I could do grass walls. Don't think I see those in nature ever. Can be placed on wood walls. Okay, we'd have to use wood walls. Because the windows are not allowed to exist otherwise. B picks are too blurry. Hide the bad CGI. So that is remind me yesterday. Yesterday I just went on a little 
rabbit hole of looking at categories of stuff to buy. Well, mostly it was just I looked at local listings. And looked for grills? Not too successful. I think everyone is trying to get a grill secondhand right now. It's summer. I'm looking for... Something gaming or something? I don't even know. I was looking for, like, hard drives. And I was looking for cameras. There was one person with, like, a... I guess I'd be looking for, like, a point-and-shoot... Like, a high-end point-and-shoot? Camera? Something with optical zoom, but that's not... That complicated otherwise. I just trolled eBay a little bit and just filtered down to like 50 bucks to see what you could get. Like it's only one brand at that price. Nikon. Nikon cool picks. Seems like from reviews, descriptions. Not a bad camera, just they're... They were the only ones on eBay in that price range yesterday for some reason. Oh, I should have a transition thing. There we go. That looks cooler. If I get something with zoom, then I can just zoom in on bees. Simple. Okay, so at bare minimum, I need something that stretches down this far. Her mom is a cool pix? It sucks ass. Dang, even just for a simple zoom? Well, I guess you get what you pay for. That was all I saw. Like the 50 buck range. So not that, I guess like it's not that high priority, I guess it'd be a cool new thing to learn, the ca actual camera. I'm not that that interested. Well, see, modern phones are pretty good too. I could just get a new Pixel and not put open source software on it, which kills the camera. The cameras are tied up and all the proprietary stuff that Google and Apple have. And Samsung. At least on phones. Also, how do I access the storage on this? Do I just right-click it? Because yeah, you right-click this. What? Oh, you have to right-click the cargo boat. Okay. Interesting. Um, I need some more land. I'm probably just going to destroy something. Destroy a land mass. I guess you can just build a random pop figure collection in the middle of the ocean. Little did I know. Just skyrocketed since last year. Even just second hand. I know prices of everything just went up when like the pandemic started. Because for some reason, lockdowns meant everyone had to become a hyper-consumer. I can't pick that up. I actually could use the lily pads. Uh... A little bit of land. And collect wood, too. This little island is going to get, to get reduced into a pile of nothing. Almost 1,200 Polish gold for a new one. 
Now it's 600 used. 1600 used. I guess partially there's like computer electronic shortage stuff. Production just not being... Not taking any slowdowns into effect. It's all just just in time. There we go. Grab me all this land. Alright, you know what? I'll just take it all. 46, th 7 things, that should be good enough. Guess now might be a bad time to look then, huh? Impossible to find a camera. How do I get out again? Wait, how do I get out? Why am I forgetting? How do I get out the boat? Oh, you just click it. He's getting soft locked. Right, that's probably big enough. For now, at least. That's cost all of the land. Hopefully you can buy land in this game. Literally. Not like a piece of paper that says I have, have this area. Like just literal land. Forget who even sells carpet. I think it's... The Resident Evil salesman. Okay, he sells regular carpet. Spend some money on that. I already had carpet on me. Oh well. Battery could be replaced when you've access to a full frame camera. I don't know what a full frame camera means. Nice to have your own small, modern one. Nice, that's the thing I was thinking of too. Like, probably any camera from the last, like, 12 years is okay. Oh. As long as it just takes some sort of standard or battery you can get new ones of. And SD cards. Not like you have to worry about storage medium changing. Dude, I was using floppy disks for my camera, but now they use these fancy compact flashcards now. It's outdated already. Oh god. The menus. Um, okay, the organization here is not ideal, but... I have random things of wood. I guess that could be dealt with. See, this random wood can go away. Oh, it's infused wood. Did I already have that? Kinda. I can get more infused wood if I want. So you do use that in crafting.
Oh, that has water in it. What the heck? There we go. Manager windows. What's everyone's favorite window manager? Mine's open bots. Time for some Linux conversations. I wonder if the hopper mod works for fluids as well. It's really, that would be like a pipe mod, right? That makes more sense. Anything else I can put away doesn't look like it. Oh, acorns. Only so many acorns you need. I think I'm good. I have plenty of stone floor. I still need to figure out the layout of this person's home. So I guess one thing is I need one more space for flowers. Which if I make it a common flower, it could just be like here. I think that's ideal. When you can change the settings on. Cool picks only is auto mode and the picks can be awful because of that? Dang. I know one of the reviews I was reading mentioned for one of the cool picks. The one that was for sale locally. It's like this one doesn't have an electronic viewfinder. You can make figuring out your zoom your zoom weird. I'm like, oh, that's something I need to know about. Hmm. That's a acceptable plot of land. There we go. I guess increase the length of the wooden walls here. Hmm. This just looks weird because of the way the fences here interact. Make it something like this, just long. So it doesn't need to be very big. I would put one of the basic starter flowers, like probably sunflowers here. And then maybe make her actual house thing like right here. it here with some glass and some windows. It's probably the plan. Yeah, it's just this wood edging looks good when it's connected to something generally. So it doesn't have to have to be, but it's preferred. Alright, maybe this will work. Like how the regular base building, honestly, in this game just didn't appeal to me, but making like a specific building... ...for like a specific resource, that... that's more motivating. It's like when you have to build a farm of a certain item in Minecraft. Uh, that's not enough.
So I think we'll take Honey Rose, and that'll be the poop flower that doesn't get its own special pen. Stone flooring, I need this flooring. Oh, I have extra walls and windows, well... And wood. Easy to collect infinite wood in this game. Uh, is that good? I guess I'll keep this in the backpack. Just bring all of the decor items. No roof? Yeah, this game's just like Dragon Quest Builders. You're not supposed to put roofs down. Wait, what the heck do I even have selected? Oh, acorns. Okay. We'll get those out of here. That should be plenty of stone flooring. We'll make... I'll make two more things, just in case. Plenty of floors. Probably have plenty of walls. If I had a guess. I can craft, like, plenty, because I have infinite wood at this point. Wood is no longer a bottleneck. Well, at least for now. I won't jinx it. I'm sure I'll run out of wood again somehow. Just like Animal Crossing. I really could use the speed potions. I forget what item even gives me the speed boost. But basically, once you can, like, easily make 100 money for free, that's when you can start using speed potions. Alright, that's probably big enough. You know, like the wood slab table in Animal Crossing? My dad and stepmom actually have a table that's kind of like that in real life. They got some local art... someone. Artisan? Furniture maker? I don't know what you, title you'd give him. They got him to make a wood table like that. It's kind of cool. The center part feels like it's plastic. Like, they took the core of the tree and replaced it with a resin or something? I don't know. It's very smooth feeling. It also has benches that are also tree wood. That went with it. Go with it. They're not as cool. I guess it's better to just have chairs with a table. The bench is kind of weird. There we go. So we have these. Unfortunately, there's no dirt path, because I would just... put that here otherwise. I'll figure out how to make this their home. I think I want a corner. I want, like, a greenhouse corner to this. Something like that. And the windows in this game are very... Oh, interesting. Well, how do I... Okay, I did not realize that. So windows overlay. Interesting. I think I need more glass.
We can't even tell there's a window there. I mean, that makes sense, but... Kind of silly. It's my opinion on river resin tables. What? What is that? Because I have no opinion, because I don't know what that is. So I think I want to recreate the look of her old home, where the greenhouse was separate. So... Figure out something clever here. Something like that, maybe? Maybe like that. Okay, that makes more sense. Separate room like this. Scottish Elm. Blue dining table. Alright, I'll click real quick. I think that's what... I guess that's kind of like what my dad has. Slash had. I don't think he has it anymore. Because they move. It was just clear instead of blue resin. Because that looks okay. It's supposed to look like a river, dude. I guess it doesn't quite look like a river. I'm giving that. I can't put a shrub in there? Okay, so here's their house. Since it's Apico, they don't actually have doors, but... Do something like this? And even just this alone. I think this looks cool. This works good enough. There we go. Get some lamps here. Give them a lamp in their home, I guess. I had a crafting table. Modern house. I got the modern house with modern wood. And stone. Minecraft house build. Get some plants here. I guess they could have, uh, on shine in a bottle. It's not something they had before, but... It would make sense in here. Gotta give them cool decor. Because they need carpet as well. What? What did I just do? Oh yeah, they had random... Because there's not really dressers or anything in this game. They can have... They can have crates. I guess you can give them bookshelves. That's about it. Do you have anything in the backpacks? I did. Just a lamppost. I say just. That kind of evens this out. I like that. Hope I will pay them good money. Their payment is I won't kill them. I won't put them in my pockets again. This is the evil playthrough. Alright, so we need to get some rare flowers of each type and give it to them. And place them down in their new home. There we go. It's like they always lived here. This is why I don't have roommates. 
I would just murder them. I want to yell into my microphone at my computer. Too much. I'm just sleep sleep in. Maybe not to have too weird of sleeping hours, but just uh. I need my space. That's why I don't have roommates. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, I need seven flowers. I could put a pot out here. Okay. This place is coming together. I need seeds of each flower type now. So I have swarmwort. I can get some lily pads for all the aquatic ones. The one question is, what does the entrance of this look like? Do I keep it just kind of derpy looking like this, or do I try and make it better? Just kind of hard. So I'm just space limited. I guess it could be something like that. But the side you walk towards has something. Oh, that makes more sense. This looks okay, I guess. The problem is we need too much land here. Like your space, too. I guess if you have, like, a gamer roommate, if you have a roommate that you can do activities with, it's probably fun. We got the Smasher roommate. I just want to play Smash Bros. I'm totally... I'm totally better than you. We'll destroy you with Luigi. Alright, what do I need? Flowers? Bee stuff? Don't think I need carpet. I think I might be done with all the decorative stuff. Or at least some of it. They had influence. I'm just recounting stories I've heard. Of course it's because... I said, of course it's stories I would hear. Stories people casting Smash Brothers say. It's like, dude, my college roommate... Obviously, we played Smash, because that's why I'm now a... Why now I just... All I talk about is this game. Oh, tools are misaligned. Let's see... Because technically, I don't really need flowers of each type. I already have swarm wart, so I need frosteria, honey drop, hives bane, bees knees, goldenrod, lily pads. Shrubs. All this decorative stuff in the backpack. 
I guess just all the flower seeds can go in the backpack. I don't know what ones I'll need. Because I don't need honey rose ones. Or goldenrod. Or beekeeper's delight. Alright, I'm good. The build is about completed. I don't like the entrance, but I'm not sure what to do about it. It's not like Minecraft where you can build some cool stairs in an arch or something. It's all flat. Oh, that's weird. Oh, interesting! Pots can be used as storage for flowers. Just make pixel art, just make a smile. So that could be like an alternate build. Try and make a pixel art bee. There's not really enough blocks of different colors, though. I don't- that would be really hard to do in this game. In fact, I don't know how you would do that. I guess you could approximate it by painting crates? And painting bee boxes and stuff. That's about it. Okay, I didn't realize you could store flowers in certain amounts. In these. That's interesting. Yes, that's good to know. Well, maybe I have a flower pot at each one of these to store flowers in, too. If you're just farming them. Or I can use these as the farm, I guess. If it's one of each flower... Yeah, if I put every flower type here, then I guess it could all work as flower storage. Those two will stay empty. So I don't think I can put bee's knees in one of these. Nope. Well, that sucks. They are not the bee's knees, then. Land is over here, not bee's knees. There we go, we got a nice little frog pond. Couple here. Do a goldenrod field here. Do Frosteria. Honeybriar. Now this one's Hyvanium. I don't have Frostaria seeds? Question mark? I don't. Interesting. I get that hives vein. I guess what one was comb bristle? I guess I'll do comb bristle here. Be well. Mm, you tired? Going to sleep for hours of doing doing nothing for four hours. That's how it is sometimes. Do nothing, still tired. Oh wait, was there another water flower? Uh oh. Well. Brain farted. Forgot there were for gore. I actually just for gore. Because there's bees knees, there's this one. And there's that one. Ivanium and swarmwort. Yeah, I just brain farted. Forgot about pond shine. Okay, 
I don't think I have honey briar planted anywhere. Okay, well, I guess I'll convert one of these two. Maybe the bot top one? That, that's a big miss. I don't think this is too hard to fix. Okay, that one didn't get picked up for some reason. Now we get the shovel. There we go. And then I think all we do is fence this in. There we go, and it appears identical to the one up top. Now I can plant Pawn Shine. So I was missing it, apparently. Forgot there were that many aquatic variants. I guess the hives can go inside here. I'll just put them at the cross areas. If I want. I got too many bees on the ground, okay. There we go, so now we got bees just among all these flowers here. Oh yeah, you can even see the radius. Well, there we go. This is the florist build. Let's freaking go. This is something nice looking and different. Like, I guess if you do want to relocate the vendors, this is how you do it. Alright, do I put one of the common flowers in storage here? I guess. So there's a couple flower types that are not stored here. I guess a bunch of them you can't because they're aquatic, but like I don't have honey briar for some reason. It's the big one, I think. Don't have comb bristle on display, I don't think. Yeah, that's good for flowers for now. I guess I might turn that into flower storage, and what I might do is I might put a pot in the corner of every single one of these. So if they just propagate on their own. It's one way to do it. So we'll continue to store flowers in here though, instead of uh where the game suggests to do it. I'm pretty happy with that build, how it turned out. I right, gotta store the blessed bees. Infinite bees. Alright, so do I just go... Do I have enough bees? What percentage am I at? What's the stream title? I'm at 16? I think I need two more to get certain things. I think? 
Maybe not. So the Misty Bee, I think, is an obvious one. It can only be found when it's raining, though. But we can just pray for rain. There's also the Worker Bee. Oh, there are tiers. You can barely read. This is, like, tier three. Honeybriar, Clarus, and Calignosis mix. Twilight Bee. Is it a Muggy Bee combo? It's a Muggy Bee combo. Okay, we need Vibrant and Muggy. I think I was attempting it already. Yeah, I think I have it. This is it. We have Worker Bee. I was trying it before. Apis Artifacts. It's a strong and gentle giant. A critical part of modern industry. Without these thumb-sized behemoths. They made all the modern comforts? They make wax canisters? Bruh. No wonder they're tier 3. Okay. We just have worker bees. Got it. A bunch of muggy and vibrant bee species as well. This one muggy? Yes. I think vibrant bees are saved, so I don't have to worry about them. Okay, well, that's one. If I want to get all the tier two bees, I just need to get the misty bee. It can only be found when it's raining. It's a mix of pain and silva. Pain is common? No, pain is verge. Verge and forest, but only when it's raining. Okay. I think I can pray for rain. Yeah, we just use the swamp idol. Pray for snowy skies. I guess you just pray for this. This is a weird one. Because I guess the issue is... Okay, the Verge Bee does like rain. Okay. So we have to make it a Verge Queen, and then we just make it rain. It's not productive. Any mutants? No. Need a Verge Bee that is likely to mutate. We're likely to be fertile. I guess these ones are likely to be fertile. I need to grab all my blessed bees. So I can pray for rain. You want the Verge Bee to be the queen. Otherwise the rain will mess them up. Okay, it instantly starts raining. Okay. Well, if I was off on the timing, at least I know next time. Yeah, so we have to wait a couple minutes. 333 seconds. 9.50 in the day. Like, 9.50 a.m.? Hopefully. Oh, yeah, the acclimatizer. Let's be like certain weather. If they really want. I guess I just go get some bee produce now. I got infinite money. But no honey. The regal bee. 
I guess these are some of our most productive. I guess, yeah, once I can get those guys going. Like, a higher tier B would be better, but... Like, common B's just going? No thanks. Take them out. Like, more Regal Bees here. I guess I haven't really figured out any bees that are really good at, uh... Making produce. So I could try and get the honey frames from Rob... Bobby. I guess let's go to him. If the rainy day ends while I'm gone, then so be it. Calidus. Produced by hermit bees. I keep buying... Looking a bit pale? The tundra? That explains a lot. Put the kettle on. When can I buy my own mirror? I've seen that for a while. Is it just a random chance from Beatrix here? I've missed it. So I've been a couple things I can do while I wait. What the heck? The birds just change? Let's go back to the swamp and see... What the bee god thinks of me. Uh oh. I died a. Couldn't be the first person to die to thunder in this game, I think. Hold up, we gotta get a blessed bee. We can just steal muggy bees from the wild. I don't think they need to be reintroduced, though. I think if you can find them in the wild here. I would think they aren't endangered. I could be wrong, I guess. Rip the florist. I had a good life. Oh, there we go. Gate maker. Alright, so we have fast travel now. Um, I mean, obviously we just kind of steal this now, then. Hive Mother Gate. Make it a more convenient walk. We'll leave the old shrine, but... What the? That does not look right. I guess it can't... Be properly aligned, though. That sucks. Can do something like this. That's close enough. It looks weird, but it's good enough. I guess let's put it over the wood. It's hard to properly align this. There we go. Overpowered. Now I have the Ender Pearls. It's game over. It's fart over. Thank you for the fart. Some streamers need donations. I just need farts. I'm begging for farts. Please. Right, we'll just go ahead and release the Muggy Bees, but let me look at the log. Oh, interesting. You still need to rehabilitate them. Okay, that almost fooled me. These bees are almost done. Go running, put some more of this glow stuff down. There we go. It's all coming together. We got a nice little flower garden. I guess one way to do this is just to make a giant s sectioned out pond. Kind of kind of like what I did, though. Oh, did I get unlucky? I think I did. I think the rain ended as soon as the cycle was done. 
Noopsie. Okay, gave me a bless to be back, though. Um, I guess we'll do it. Any more blessed bees? Alright, so we want to pray for rain later. Not now. Still got plenty of soda pop to steal. And sell. So if I really want, I can make some more soda while I wait. I have a... I have a couple minutes to wait on these guys. I wanted to go to, uh, Robbie. Can I, like, hurry? I might be able to. I wanted to buy the special frames if they have them. I'm getting close to them. I'm cutting it close. I may take way too long here. Alright, where are they at? Need to give them the wombo combo. Aw, oh, they just have the forge? That's a decorative item. I need the other thing. I need more honey core. Oh, I can buy all of their automated items. Alright, we can farm. I'm gonna get another axe. That sucks. I just have to go back then. At least for now. So I need to come back and farm like a trillion money and just get all of their items. Ideally. The teleporter is not that close... Not that far from them. I guess you can kind of cheese the game, because you can just move all the teleporters. Maybe that's a thing they let you do on purpose. If I want to move this teleporter somewhere else... It's fine. Praise B. Worship the B. I also need to farm regular money. I guess when it's night, I need to go find the Resident Evil salesman guy. Make sure I get his idol so I can summon him. Alright, let's make a set of normal frames, since I can't make the other ones. So we'll just release this regal beam. Grab some honeycomb. Alright, so I can get a teeny bit of honey and get a little bit more money. That's the goal here. Alright, 15 bottles of alcohol. What do you got for me? 200 monies? Not bad. I 
gave me a little bit of honey. Alright, still waiting on these bees. I need the special bee. I guess I don't need need it, and I can just go farm money, but... Oh, it's night! God damn it. Wait, I don't even have a bed here. Alright, we're gonna sleep through the night, but I need to... Hurry. I got really unlucky here. There we go, we got the rain again. There we go, we got a ton of worker bees. Oh, there we go, new species, because we got the rain. All tier 2 bees discovered. We have the Misty Bee. Most land-based bees, rain and even mist, can impede their ability to fly. Not so with the misty bee, which has developed water-repellent bristles. Okay. There's some very fantastical evolutions here of bees. Misty bees and get another pure breed going. These bees don't like the rain. Unfortunate for them. Alright, so I have an empty bee box, so this one's a worker bee. I guess I could come up with, like, custom icons to represent some of them. It's like I could do a water bottle to represent... ...the one type of bee. But actually, I would like that. Although, I don't... Aw, you can't do decorative water bottles, so I would have to do pond shine, which I guess works. Sure, whatever. That's the water bee. I don't know about the worker bee. I think the worker bee, we just make it a weird color. Worker bee is a purple, so I just try and make a purple hive. Which doesn't quite work, but... Don't know what will. A bunch of forest and verge bees. Is 
bees do not like rain. Unfortunate. These ones do, though. make two different sets of bee boxes if I can. Now that shouldn't be that hard. Easy. So when I get spare misty bees, they can go in here. Make sure there's a spot for every kind of bee I find, which will get really rough, but I guess we just expand this piece of land if I run out of space. I mean, I will run out of space. Okay, really, dude? This game is jank. There we go. Okay, I just didn't like the bookshelf. The hive was fine. That'll help a teeny bit when it comes to running out of room. So we'll need so many different bee boxes. Like, how many bees total are there? 35? Oh, yeah, I thought there were way more bees than there actually were. There we go. Give me your honeycomb. Me you want honeycomb. Oops. These guys are going going to work. I need another frame or two. I think I just need one more. Alright, so now I can get even more money going. Although money isn't really an issue at this point in the game, so... Because if I don't want to go, in, like, insanely hard, I don't have to. It's just a possibility. Not going hard was never not an option. Peace was never an option. Alright, so we'll see what some worker produce is like. Oh, this queen is done already, okay. Oh, well, there we go. We got wax canisters. I guess you get canisters like crazy. You just throw out all your normal size ones. That's a that's an amount. Oh, there's one more. Dude, the fact that these guys just make wax canisters for you, they just make tools, that's really different.
The most powerful bee. All right, let's get like a stack of wax going before I do too much with it. Oh, they aren't even done with their cycle. Just keeps going. I feel like regular wooden canisters are just kind of dunzo. Outdated. So I'll keep a few around for lulls, but... Worker bees are just going. Yeah. More misty bees, although not too many. Oh, we unlocked the traits already. Oh god. Too much help. Like, you're- I'm gonna have infinite wax canisters, and like, you just have infinite. You just have to start throwing them away. You can sell them, I guess, but... It's too much- many of them. Wax canister went from being, like, this one weird item you got from a quest that's really cool, f to just something you're drowning in. I have like nine of these, just from one set of bees. Just from one queen. It's a little much. Oh, their productivity is six plus? Wow. No wonder I'm getting so much honey. These bees are cracked. All right, well, I guess we can get more honey. Yeah, the honey thing was almost halfway full. Kind of hard to believe. Now, water, now, now we can just have infinite money. We have infinite honey, which is infinite money. Uh, well, I guess the cycle and the final frame, yeah, the same thing. We just have all, oops, all canisters. That is crazy. It's crazy that two of these worker bees wound up being uh, purebred as well. You really gotta micro the worker bees. They will give you tons of honey, but you have to be sitting there to extract the honey, or you're kinda SOL. Well, I guess I'll get the regal queen going just so it's no longer a queen. But I guess anything that has wooden canisters just does not need wooden canisters anymore. Not all the bees here.
These get to be Misty Bees, which I guess a normal Misty Beehive would work too, but... It's an advantage to having the hives, is you just get more for free. I mean, you can use the Swarmer if you really need more. We're going to have wax canisters everywhere, I think. I think we're good on water, unless I want to get like 50 things of Apicola going. Which I probably won't. I mean, I guess it would be interesting if the game gives you a reason to have like infinite industry. It would be funny at least. Like, there's no end game. You just get infinite money because there's infinite stuff to get. Alright, like, for this, instead of a, uh... Use a wax resin container. Now we have no reason to use the wooden ones. We have infinite of the non-wooden ones. Alright, let's go farm Bobby now. I can get infinite money from him. For them. I guess I can just teleport most of the way. And I guess if I can, I can figure out... How to get the teleport here. Yeah, we can't interact with the big ones yet. Minecraft. Accidentally mine up trees. Yeah, this just feels kind of cheesy. I have a bunch of bees to rehabilitate, even though I just stole them from the wild. It's a gameplay and story segregation. These bees do not need to be saved, but we're just saving them anyways. The incredible bees. I'm probably going to need to farm way more of this stuff, but... Give them 144... So we got 250 honey core. Oh, we got the honey core frames. We need infinite of these. Yeah, at least two sets, if not. There we go. Just get a whole backpack full. That's two and a half. So in case honey and money were not easy enough to get already, now they are even more easy to get. Alright, so now I need to get some of the auto-extracting stuff. I've gotten most of this, but how big is the tundra? Okay, there's like an upper right corner I can still interact with.
Because I doubt I will get enough of this money to... Actually get all the Bobby items immediately. Maybe. Oh, got a hunt. We only have a hundred here? Well, I can get the auto sawmill. Powered by nearby hides. Which is 3B power. I mean, these are almost for funsies. I guess the auto centrifuge issues. The auto, auto sawmill, I guess, is good too. I guess these are all good. There's only an auto centrifuge, not an auto, uh... Other thing, though. Sweet to the core. Alright, give money back. Hulk, quote-unquote. And tell Bobby about how you were getting on with your new honeycorn machine. And clap back. Okay. Why can't they talk? The silent worker. Alright, so we just need infinitely more honey core. It's simple. Oh, here's this. Okay. So they do kind of time gate the honey core items a bit. You can't just farm all of them in five seconds. We only have enough for one. Because the question here is what bees do I need to discover? I need to discover the twilight bee? That one's not even hard to get. Okay. Simple. It seems like I need to wait on the other stuff to respawn a bit. Unforge. So, no auto centrifuge. That's going to be the biggest one. To put that next to your bees, and then you just automatically extract some stuff. That's where the hopper mod comes in handy. So there's, no there's no auto uncapper. Kind of weird. Can only automate one. Now hold up. The salesman is here. We have enough money to get their stuff. But they're just sitting here. What are you buying? Alright, we got their mysterious idol. So now we can summon them. I can get... Possibly a backpack full of mysterious frames. Which increases the amount of special produce formed. We get a full set at least. So that's already expensive. I can get special carpet, blue carpet, yellow carpet... We get 16 to each. Or 20. Just so we don't have to summon. Oh, we can trade for honey core. So that's kind of big. Get an extra altar. Need to discover more bees? Oh, 22 we get the bee bank. That's not even that many. Get our own gates. I guess we can start buying the jukebox. Montecola Volpez. Okay. I guess the cool thing here is you can set up jukeboxes for everyone's house. Three honeycore for 50 money. So they expect you to go crazy with the money. 
We can get bottled peas and fusion apicola. Alright, we'll get their weird song. Three more of their frames. Five. Six. Just another set. Alright, bye, dude. <laughs> We're rich now. That exchange rate for the honey core crystals is rough, though. I guess they just expect you to f have money farmed down pretty good. Which, I mean, I'm pretty close to that, but I think it's quicker and easier to just mine all of this, too. Maybe if they add more honey core items in future updates? I know there's bees up, or not bees, butterfly update. Um, solitary bees, that's another one. There will be some major things in this game still to come. I guess that'll, that'll be a reason to boot up for multiplayer. Yeah, it's a quick 150. Alright, well, let's get the auto centrifuge as well. Already almost have all of their items. And I guess you still want the honey core for more... I don't know. Alright, we're not going to backtrack because that's just too long. So I need to get the Twilight Bee and then I can get more fast travel. We'll be good. So I guess if I want just infinite honey, I can use Bobby's frames with the worker bees. The special produce frames I will need to save for later. I'm sure they will be godlike at some point. I just don't know when. I guess music items can go in there. I guess we'll see what... What's-her-name's house looks like with... Different carpets. Yay. Oh, did I have honey core already? I did. Only one, though. Only a frosty bees, so I guess I just release them. Which is kind of cheesy. I guess not all bees are created equal. So how does the auto sawmill work in general? Zero active hives nearby. Okay. Counts is nearby. Okay. Yeah, it'd be nice to know the radius. And it just charges up. Okay, so it does charge just based on literal hives. So I could either move these hives closer for these machines. I kind of think is the play.
And that's the easy mode solution. So the rough thing here is you need the hives to be active. They're charging 2 BV a second. Okay, and then I guess I just put wood in here? Yeah, and it just automatically goes. Okay, so you need more hives than... ...machines. So I guess you want the space... stuff spaced out, ideally. Oh, that had stuff in it. Well... Hopefully I didn't have any honey, because that probably got lost. It was only a little bit, it's fine. Alright, so that's a start. Right, so we'll leave the centrifuge and the sawmill here. Charging at 3 BV. We need to steal hives and put them right next to our machines. I'm guessing, if I had to guess apiaries count, maybe not. I can get another water beehive. There we go. So now it's really charging up. This one is charging quicker than it's discharging. Okay, you got 99 glue so we can make some sawdust bricks. Uh, oh, it makes two. Okay, well, listen. Now this is gaming. We can just type 99 and get what exactly what I need. Oh, it doesn't look like I'm anywhere near too much. Right, so that'll be cool. Yeah, that's kind of a jank, but I have to wait on the other one to not... to charge up. I have to manually charge this one. Come on. What's up with that? ton of misty bees, so I guess I can start rehabilitating them if I want. We'll get a small number of them going, just so that way if I lose them all, I can have a few on hand. Save a couple bees. I guess we could get more worker bees going as well. The ones who I want clones of. They all have six productivity. Some of higher fertility. They just don't have good lifespans. This is where you make a hybrid. We want worker bees, but with a longer lifespan and maybe more mutability. 
You don't really care about fertility. I guess we can start with these ones and get clones of them. That probably works. Alright, so we gotta micro the hives a bit if you want your batteries to charge. B power. You got yourself a honeycomb machine, did you? Isn't it dreamy? If I had a couple of those, I'd never have to work again. Oi. Okay. What you got for me? Anything? Yeah, I guess honestly we just buy like 50 bottles and then we never talk to this guy again. Get out of my face. I have all these frames. I guess... I'll just put them in here so they have somewhere to go. It's a lot. Sody pop going. And some water. No more honey in the honey machine. Alright, so once I get bees that can infuse into mead, I'm going to be filthy rich. In fact, I might want to slow my roll a bit. I guess that's where you can get... Oh, then you can get free speed up. And then the game really uh, opens up from there. Okay. That's what makes them high tier bees. Let's see. So I could keep doing... This stuff. All I need, it looks like I need to... I need to get the muggy stuff and the frosty stuff. I guess I could complete those already and get treated frames for free. And seeds. And then I just need to learn climate control. I learned smoke, but I haven't really used it. It's like this can be a smoke hive, and then I could have a climate control hive here. Something. Or I could put it over here. So I'm not really sure what the radius on this stuff is. I'll just make things a lot easier to deal with. It's like these two are just here if you just need bee products. And I guess this one... I could probably just move this one and not even craft another apiary yet. There we go. This one's this one will be for smoke, and the other one can be for climate control. This one issue is we will need to smoke. I guess this is why you keep them in storage. So I guess you want to make sure. Oh, that's why I was interested in the smoker. Okay.
And so I guess really the flower seeds, I mean, I can put them in here too, but I should also take them with me. To somewhere else. So I guess I have a use for the crate that the one person has. So yeah, we need to farm flowers so that way we can... ...use the smoker. We'll need to use the smoker just to make sure the hives are in order. Like, I'll just have to check what's in that hive. I just want one queen just sitting there chilling, or just no bees. Probably just a queen. It's a sacrificial queen. There we go. And we'll see what the other carpets look like. Only need 15. So that's the yellow one. Yeah, I don't like the blue one. I knew I wasn't gonna like the blue one. I'll go with the yellow one, just to be different. I do think the rest one honestly kind of looks better, but... I'll go with the blue yellow one. It's a more expensive one. Oh. Oops, what the heck? Shine. Okay, I can take some hives vein. Don't have that many seeds though, at least not that I brought with me. Comb bristle. Plenty. This is Be Well. There's no way I don't have honey briar seeds, right? Yeah. Pick all of it if I want. This is where we just farm a crazy amount of each flower. So I just need to make sure I have a source for, of seeds for every single one. Oh, even extra. It's honeybriar. Well, when did I not plant then? Home bristle. Beekeeper's Delight, and the red one. I have Hyvanium. I don't even think I need that much Goldenrod, but... There we go, we'll just have infinite Goldenrod. Like, why'd the song stop? OBS is having a bit of trouble, it looks like, too.
Now honey rose up. I have a golden rod. Not swarm wart I didn't plant. Huh. That's a thinker. I don't know what one I'm missing. Those obvious? Uh oh. Do I look at my bitrate too much anymore? Like something happened and the internet is just poop. I'm gonna have to call Spectrum again. Unforge. Uh, there has to be a flower type I'm missing that I didn't plant. Can I just buy it from you? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's only ten that I can buy, though. If we go to the flower thing, there's thirteen. Bees knees, hives bane, pond shine, honey drop. It might be honey drop. Did I plant honey drop? I think honey drop is this one, unless that's something else. That's comb. Okay, I didn't have honey drop. Interesting. That's the rarest flower that I have not planted. Oh, she doesn't hold all the things at once. Her entire inventory rotates. Maybe, or does it... Okay, it just changes every time you talk to her. Weird. Alright, well, it was Honey Drop that I was missing, it seems. I gotta store all the seeds. Alright, we'll drink this. Speed increased. I got sugar. It's literally Minecraft. Hold up. Minecraft speed up. It's pretty good though. Once I find out what B gives me this, I am beelining it. There's honey drop. Of course, these guys also like... What flowers do they also like? What kind of bees are these fiery bees? Fiery bees? Blessed variant found. Yeah, but what flowers do they like? Why can't I... I can't think of what that one is. Honey drop? It looks like honey drop. So it's both rare flowers I don't have a lot of. Alright, nice. Oh, that already used up the flower. What the heck? I wasn't ready. Smoker items kind of troll. Oh, they're sleeping. Oh, no. Well, unfortunately, I messed with this at night, so I just wasted my time.
Alright, they're good. We'll get another set of bees, and then... So I'll see what I think. We got a blessed one, of course. I could do a combo, or... The Blessed Queen as well. Alright, well... I can put them in a Swarmer now. I guess a Swarmer with both climate control things is good too. Although I guess you could move the one item as well, or... Manipulate the positioning. Alright, so multiple smokers might not be a bad idea, basically. And since I kind of need the money, I will just go ahead and get a bunch of the cola. Quote-unquote cola. Don't look into what the cola actually is. Alright, so I guess we'll get the Benjamin... I guess I might as well do, get the, do the Swamp thing. Well, I don't have enough of each B-type, do I? Hold up, if I open up the guide... These ones I might... Yeah, I can just pick up Muggy Bees... ...and all the flowers I need. That one's an easy clap. Let me get more Pawn Shine seeds. I have plenty of Muggy Bees. I think maybe if I sh just show this Muggy Bees, and then what is it? Both flower types. And five... of these. Hello? Why doesn't this count? I have five Muggy Bees, right here. Lost. Oh, that faked me out. I thought, oh, never mind, it was just glitched out, it loaded. It's supposed to play that sound. One, two, three, four, five. Are these drowsy? Oh, these are the wrong bee type. That would be why. They just look exactly like the muggy bees. They're both gray bees. Okay. There we go. Trolled myself. Put these flowers back. Swamp thing. Now I have more seeds of the flower that I've had a lot of trouble getting a bunch of. Which is good. Okay, and if I go back to the guide, I'm pretty sure this one is easy for me to do as well. Yep. Need five Frosteri and five Honey Drop. Oh, I know. It's actually not the case. I will need to wait until my Honey Drop on the farm grows. I guess. So I only have three here, and Frosteri I only have elsewhere. And I could just buy the seeds, but... 
Okay, we'll have to wait on that one. Okay, automated wood production. It's just a little strong. It sticks if I want. Alright, well I guess it's time to learn about using... climate control. I need to discover 20 bees to get the cooler. I'm not cool enough yet? Dang. Well, I at least have the heater. Yeah, you need both of these to get finish this. I forget what bees think it's too cold, but there's a set. Okay, yeah, so if I just move this up, then the swarmer is within range of this. So you need to give it wood. It will make the bees hot. Let's figure this out. So what bees do I have that say it's too cold? I think the muggy bees are like this? Yeah, the muggy bees don't like this climate. It's too cold. Alright, we'll never fear. One of them was a queen. Take them and heat them up, and they should be good. Will it do any fuel type? Yes. Okay, so wood makes it burn a lot quicker, though. 580 seconds remaining. This bee only needs that much time. Smoker fuel. It's not really a smoker, though. Alright, well, there they go. In the heat. Um, I kind of just want to buy a second smoker. I guess since I need the money, I will just use up all this cola. I don't think I'm getting a bee that... I could use a second smoker, but those cost 250 Zan. I'll just have to move the one that I have around then, for now. Oh, I could always make more honey. Just exploit the worker bee class. Probably could just do that for these two hives. I did regal bees, okay. Alright, let's see how the automated thingy works. So I feed stuff into it, and then it uses the battery. It uses three bees per second, but it charges with one. Oh, I was wondering what was happening there. I mean, I guess you only have to manually charge one thing at a time, but... I don't know if that's that much better. I guess this is easier. 
Just if it was all automated. I guess he would run out of money or power really quick if it was all automated, but come on. Stuck at 969. Be well seeds. I got more hives vein seeds at least. Gotta make sure I'm farming the flowers. There we go, and we got a decent chunk of money, honey. So we'll store some more royal jelly. Who knows when I'll need more. You gotta hoard everything. So we'll run back here so I can plant some more of this other flower. Okay, somehow that wasn't out of reach. Sure. Alright, so let's take the smoker and I will try and raise... Angry Bee Species. Which I guess you still just need the Swarmer. Yeah, if we want more muggy bees, we just put them back in because it's still warm for a bit. Okay, the smoker basically is the exact same radius. There we go. Cheese the game a bit. So I'm really curious what the... I need the angry bees to reproduce, though. I only have, like, one, so... I guess then later I can see, uh... What else they might do. Alright, one whole seedling. That should do the trick. We got here regal bees. I could just stand around and try and get money. That's a va viable strategy. I think those are just misty bees to reintroduce into the wild. I got clones of my good worker bee. And I want it to have a larger lifespan. Contented. Gotta min-max our bees. That's what the game has boiled down to at this point. Eight muggy bees in the bee box. I guess I'll get down to ten and then release these ones. I guess, though... Actually, the worker bees that I just took out... I just put in. I should just put back out.
four six four four six four five. Yeah, we'll make more clones. And then I also need... I want to crossbreed it with a bee that just has better... A better lifespan, ideally. So it needs to be like a 5-5, five, five, and then other stats can be lower. Like, here we could try for lifespan. This one is a lifespan of 5. Because you gotta pay attention to what bees you have, and clone the ones with good traits. There's one with five of two different stats. Okay, so I might just want some more swarmers, just for cloning. Is this, is this what, like, breeding Pokemon is like? It's a rehabilitator. I need a swarmer. Create a genetic monstrosity of a bee. Like, is there an easy search just on trait? This one's a 5355. Five, five. That's almost great, but not quite. These rocky bees are just solid fours. ton of forest bees that are solid fours. Drowsy bees are pretty sleepy. Would guess maybe? No? It's like, oh, the muggy bees have decent lifespans. And they're four on all their other stats? That might be the play then. If I can clone this one. So I guess this is where we use Royal Jelly. Because I don't want it to cross with any of the others. Okay, so we use it instead of a, another bee. Alright, we're going to have the most monstrous bees possible. Oh, except for this one doesn't like the climate, so we'll need to take it over here. Which is funny, I actually probably already have a bee that is a clone of this one then, but that's okay. I'm out of heat. Dang it. Oh, I was just clicking the wrong thing. I thought I had some wood stored in it. Okay, are any of these guys suitable? These are all 5-3-3 bees, mostly. Not great. Alright, well I guess I know I need to keep the royal jelly, so that's actually pretty useful. We're like, we're really playing the game now. Alright, any other bees I can go for? What about like the twilight bee? It can only be found in the twilight hours of the morning. So probably that's a dawn, when bred from Sonam and Somalitius mix. From what and what? Drowsy. Sonam, which is Dreamy. Yeah, so it's Dream and 
drowsy. I do have a decent amount of drowsy bees. Dream bee is the purple one. With the mask. We need these ones, the ones that are active at dawn. Oops. These bees are sleeping. Okay, so I got some breeding for my crazy worker bees that I will then use to make extra honey. That's the goal right now. Go ahead and prepare the frames, maybe? Can't tell, do I not have a Regal Bee storage box? Oh, there they are, okay. About to say, I wouldn't be surprised if I brain farted and just didn't have any, but. Aren't any with bad traits? We have ones with three lifespan. Obviously, we send that one out into the wild. The ones that won't live long, they can just go out into the wild. It's it's fine. So hopefully I remember where these, uh, frames go. So once I get these bees going, I will need to just micromanage them. So I don't really have just a frame box. I guess a frame box is in order, huh? Even if it's only one. Need a couple boxes just for frames. There we go. That's a lot easier to parse. And then when I get a bee that like gives me a billion money as produce, we use the other frame. It's like I can't really do anything right now. Can I buy it my own bed yet? No. <laughs> well, I'm stealing yours. Now, some of these others are active at dawn as well. Okay, the worker bee counts dawn as morning. I don't think dawn lasts long enough, though. But if they don't stay awake in the day, then we should be fine. Is there anything I can do while I wait? I'm just scared. I guess it shouldn't be dawn, like, at 5 o'clock a.m. I'm just sitting, waiting. Too scared to move. I'm gonna wait until the twilight hours. I mean, surely, can you just cheese the game? Hold up. 
Okay, it resets their timer. Alright. I'll just check on their activity. If they go back to sleep, once it's no longer dawn, then I should be good with these guys. They'll just automatically do their thing. Alright, I guess this is how you use up all your propolis. Okay, I can't even do that. Make ten. It's still dawn, according to the game. It's not really twilight. Which I'm guessing is a much more specific time. But be real careful, because I don't want to bother with another queen. I don't need to. I think the muggy bee in the corner is the one that I am... Yeah, this one I'm trying to make a hybrid. The muggy queen down there I was cloning. To then try and breed with this worker. It still counts as dawn. That's kind of crazy. Pretty sure it doesn't count as twilight now, though. But if they go to sleep once it's day... And as soon as they get active again, it should be fine. Okay, I was about to say, am I blind? I just was too quick. I think I was just cloning... Yeah, I was just cloning a good worker here. Some of these have a propensity to have a higher lifespan. Same with this one. This one's even got higher productivity and minus stability. Okay, yeah, they just go back to sleep in the day, so they're perfectly fine. They should breed when it is daytime then. Dawn time. Alright, so we got our clones. We have a bunch of minus is a recessive trait. Not the best batch of muggy bees, but... And I could do... The 4-4 one doesn't make sense. Recessive lifespan up might work. Recessive lifespan down is not ideal. Get one with less productivity. I guess we'll try the 544 one. I think. Or is this one. Oh, stability for recessive. We'll try this one. Grimuggy Queen. Oh, we have recessive low productivity. Okay, well, we'll just see what happens there. I'm just gonna blanket keep all the worker bees. Like, that's a lot of them to keep, but... 14, even? Four six five five. So that's fertility. I guess I don't really care about fertility. I just want lower stability, higher productivity, higher. I guess fertility is decent if you're making hybrids. Two different four six four five. This one is higher fertility is a recessive trait. All right, we'll release one then. 
And I already have 14 Muggy Bees, so unless it's like a god tier combo, we're blessed. Four. It's a five four. I mean, this is more interesting than Pokemon breeding to me. Won't lie. Is there any other species that I just have low numbers of? I guess I could just start doing... Well, I could just do even more worker bees. Just... Just to, uh... Release them into the wild. So I'll have to wait on these guys to make the honey. So now that I have the f calmer... I could take some of these flowers, and try and calm the bees. Although I guess I want to use the swarmer first, so... Not actually in a good position here. So I need to wait on the Swarmer to be done. Or just make another one. So that might be easier. T All those are in use. Yeah, I guess why not. Take one of the angry, fiery bees. Alright, one with recessive, uh, higher fertility. Need more than one fiery bee, please. Although, I guess they'll be like it's too hot. Well, they're just grumpy. They don't seem to care otherwise. Alright, so they're just going now. Can't find enough flowers. There's not a lot of flowers in their reach. They're gonna have some food issues, huh? No wonder why I don't have enough bees. Oh, this one was empty. Oh, well. I have another one just in case for the lulls. Flower scent. Okay, so that should... Yeah, that's just enough time. 100 seconds. Hopefully it's not like one second, and then... They just can't work anymore. So I guess I'll just sit here for 30 seconds. Like, I'm content to just sit and wait in the bees. Alright, I'll get my own bed, finally. I'll just put it here... <laughs> Kind of a troll spot to put it, because I will accidentally get in it all the time. Here we go, put it in the middle of the field, sleep with the bees. Got money.
Oh, I guess since it was a hybrid, we wound up getting worker bees and muggy bees. Oh, this is where the uh, pennant square thing is good, huh? Just seeing what bees I got. Worker bee with four. Worker bee. Muggy worker bee with six productivity. Oh wow, we have a worker bee. Muggy bee with high productivity. Worker bee with very low. Very, it's a very mutable worker bee. In other words, other traits are not, like, that different from any other worker bee type, so... These ones wound up being weird. I guess there's this one that's more of a mutant. These muggy bees, I managed to breed one with high productivity. Two of them, even. Just kind of cool. Actually, three of them. One of them that's a bit more of a mutant. Of course, what I actually do with that? Oh, this worker bee only likes warm weather. Interesting. So we bred that onto them as well. It seems like maybe a vanilla worker would be the play here. And these guys are chill. We only got four, though. Oh, it's too hot. This one is not as hardy. Well, uh-oh. So I can move the swarmer and the smoker. What the? Okay, of course, we lost the uh, flower effect that was going on. That's okay. Okay, now they're fine. Do they even have any flowers they can use? It's like no flowers here, uh-oh. Not good. Yeah, that should be a little better for them. 78 seconds. That's not as long as their lifespan, though, so we need even more. The amount of these flowers you have to farm. Alright, yeah. You just have to make sure you have, like, all the flowers you need in a certain spot and just farm them with the bees. I have no more. Now, I guess you can just buy seeds. I feel like buying seeds 
It's it's way easier. I think it's it's more satisfying to me to actually get the flowers legit though. Right, these guys will not act at night. Which is unfortunate. Hopefully there's enough time for them to uh finish up. I kinda don't think there is though. I am going to be very disappointed. Basically, I should turn this area into, like, a specific flower farming zone. I'll probably figure out... I guess maybe it's the most productive bees that would give you the most seeds? Bee. I guess we go to the guide, I think. Maybe? There's something about stats. Exploration, finding bees. Maybe not. Is it here? Traits part one, traits part two. Okay, just productivity. In general, it seems. I guess we go through the bees. Like, we have four... It's like the only bee that's high productivity that I've discovered is Regal and Worker. We could do Regal bees to try and get more flower stuff, or Worker. It seems like Worker is just really good. Domesticated is pretty good too. I probably want to do Regal for now, because I need more... Royal Jelly. Even if I leave them unattended, I guess that's one thing about them being, like, too efficient, is if you don't swap out their... thingies, it doesn't matter. But for, like, a mid-job... I only need, like, four productivity, maybe. Or five. Alright, we've got a bunch of worker bees that only want to work in the heat. <laughs> I guess it's fair. I mean, I guess you just move the smoker. It's not the biggest deal. You're just trying to babysit them. Just didn't really think of that through. Is there any with a higher lifespan? Because otherwise this experiment was kind of a failure. Yeah, this didn't really work out. None of them are, uh... That great. Oh, did these guys finish at night? Well, whoopsie. Dream Drowsy Queen. 
guess when twilight is. It's a big enigma. Dream bees is everything else. Everything else is worker bee. Seem to be the most goaded bee species I've found so far. Alright, so yeah, we'll keep all the normal ones. Like most of these experimental ones can just get released. So they just didn't work. I guess they all are pretty mutant. I'll give them that. Not too useful, though. The bee is sleeping. Go ahead and have them recycle a frame. I guess I'm just going for the Twilight Bee. I'm just speed up until it's Twilight. I guess it's probably right before it's dusk. I had a guess. Oh, there's already plenty of frames here, huh? Well, I guess I have storage for them, so there we go. Honey drop seeds. That's a flower I don't have a lot of. Plant them back here. I feel like this is more effective of a flower farm than the flower facility I set up. The flowers facility is just storage. I guess, ideally what you would do is you just have an apiary the size of each flower. Oh, that's what you do. Well, whatever. It's for looks. That would be practical, though. Which, this is huge. So you need a little garden area the size of the circle, with just the flower you want to clone. One apiary each. Yeah, that's a bit of an ask. Oh, they went to bed. Really? Okay, yeah, so you have to have a drowsy dream queen. You can't have the other way around. Only have a handful of these guys. Go to the pennant square, and this thing is like, oh, well, the drowsy dream queen might do something cool. This one's just not going to do anything. Up. Oh, Close. Almost fell for it. Oh no, these guys are angry. They have like one second left. Oh no. Oh, I needed more fuel. Wait, do they just need smoke? Do they not need to be calmed? At least yet. Confuzzled.
I guess maybe... I don't even know. This game's hard. I guess I probably need these guys just to start their life. Like at the beginning of night. Then I need to micro them. Alright, what else can I do? I feel like I've been sitting here in the same corner forever. So I probably have. And I can just keep sitting here. Not a bad solution. So I could go farm more money. And get the automated squeezer. It's not a very useful item, though. All right, we got more honey drop seeds, and we have hivesbane seeds. All right, we're farming now. <laughs> oh no, that's a different type of bee from this game. It's convincing. Even more hivesbane. I guess if you need... Oh, these bees are done already? Wow, they didn't really make that much. I guess six is like the number of frames they do. But if they have a longer lifespan... That fricks with it. Alright, give me that honey. I got 60 whole honey. 80. Hyvanium. Okay, I finally got something I don't really need. It's okay, though. I guess we let it grow anyways, and then we just farm the one that's here. Just let these guys keep going. Because we'll need like a bazillion of every flower. I'll need. The streamer thing where you just say we. Dude, we did it. That, that shelf back there, we, we put it together. We would like to play. Alright, please do not summon another bee. I can't handle it. Alright, you know what? Let's just beeline the twilight bee. I don't think anything else is going here. Okay, these guys are happy. I guess just the smoker was good enough for him. So I got a lot of fiery bees. Now I need to figure out what produce they make. So I will put the smoker back here. So it's just too much of a walk to go here. I guess next time I will try a fiery bee combo. I guess. I don't think they will be that efficient, but I can go ahead and just take all of their stuff. So 
How do you power something with just bees? Does it just use their wings? How does this work? What's the lore explanation? Need to know. So I guess for now I'm just farming Honey Drop and Onshine, Hyvanium. All these seem good to farm. Oh, caffeine we've given to the bees, so that's why they stay up at night. That makes sense. Interesting, yeah, they had a really short lifespan. Their lifespan's only three, so that makes sense. Their lifespan and their productivity have to match. Or it doesn't matter. I'll keep the one that's regal, and the rest of them I will try and save. Oh, oh, <laughs> I thought that was fake. I'm too trained by the sounds now. Wait, did I save them? I didn't get the journal. I don't think I saved them. The bees have not been saved. Unfortunate. Can you get... Uh. Uh. There you go. That's what you can get. Also, hi, Kalma. I am collecting infinite bees currently. At least I think so. Oh, hold up. Hello? Game? What is that? Hyvanium? I figured out you have to farm a billion trillion different flowers. That's the game right now. Okay, so just smoke alone will not make these bees happy. Got it. Is this Hyvanium? Is that like Meganium from Pokemon? I've just been building. That's this game. If you need an explanation. Like Fortnite. All right, this is going to be tough. Seems like once you start them calmed, as long as you keep smoke going. I don't know if that's on purpose or what, but... I'm fine with that. Alright, let's see what angry bees make. Do they make spicy honey? I must know. So I gotta get the batteries charging. They give us charred pearls. Okay. It's nothing too amazing. I guess they aren't high tier bees, so that's... Should have expected that.
They do not seem to be very productive either. They're very slow. In fact, will this one die before it even finishes producing? Okay, I'll do one more frame. Yeah, that is like pitiful. It's trying its best, I guess. Still have not figured out a bee that gives me anything really crazy. Oh, we gotta hurry here. We can reset their lifespan. We need it to be dawn. Twilight when these guys are active. Like the book. Yeah, these bees were kind of pitiful. They didn't really make anything. It's okay. All bees are beautiful, even if they don't really do anything in the game. I guess we'll take this out, because I'll need to replant some hives, Bane, anyways. Put our gloop away, put... You know what, I'll put this beeswax away. I'm not selling it. Gotta be careful here. Right, I'm getting seeds for flowers I wasn't getting before, at least. Sustainable growth. No, we'll just reset them again. So it's not going to be anywhere near twilight. Alright, so these fiery bees don't do anything cool on their own. They just exist to breed. It's like Pokemon. Now, these guys are not active at night. They're only active at dusk, and then they're active at twilight. Interesting. Well, I probably should have let their lifespan decay to almost empty, and then let them go. Okay, that's good to know. So if I don't get the bees this time, I know what happened. Sped up time too much. Do I have enough money for the one thingy? Oh, I don't have enough... drip. Gotta get the cooler somehow. Want a second smoke or two, but... I'll wait on that. Alright, so if they don't have amazing stats for releasing them... Literally Pokemon. Low productivity? Alright, you're out of here. Recessive low productivity. Like the dream bees, I don't have too many, so I want to keep a couple in storage. Like the drow the drowsy bees I don't have too many of either. Okay. I check on these guys. Some of these guys some of these guys are in the vulnerable status. I haven't really saved any bees recently. Make the stubborn bee if I combine the murky and the 
drowsy bee. That's these guys, who are also grumpy. I don't know if we're getting these guys then. So I could micro those worker bees I was looking to micro. To get more regular apicola. I mean, eventually I'll find a bee that makes something crazy, but... Oh, oops. Until then... I guess at this point, I just want to wait until it's dusk. There we go, dawn. I don't know if it'll be too late for these guys or not, but maybe not. What do these guys want? Oh, these guys have a very common flower as a calming flower, okay. Oh, they're active at night. Well... Let's get these guys going. I guess preferably in a swarmer, because we don't have too many of them. Too cold, okay. Well, now they're just sleeping. No, because they only work at night. Oh my god. Hey, okay, those bees are a bit of a... There's some work. A piece of work. Okay, well, I get these guys, at least. So we need to wait until it's dusk? Um, no, we'll just do that. And let their meter decay all the way down? Oh yeah, this uses 24 hour time, so we need to wait all the way until like 5 o'clock to wake these guys up. guys are asleep still. So now we just need to sit and wait. We need their lifespan to get down to like one second remaining. Just playing the waiting game. I guess I can figure out are there any easy bees that I can get. There's a murky drowsy combo. I'm trying to do drowsy in order to get twilight. Misty Muggy gives us Hermit Bees? Oh, bit right. Okay, well, just noticed that. I'm gonna guess that's like a recent issue. Or may I don't know. If it was only for a split second, that'd be good. No clue. Muggy bees. I think want heat. 
Oh, did time not pass while we're in the book? Oh, it doesn't. Okay. Okay, there's some bees that make special produce that I haven't figured out. So we have complete entries. Drowsy bee, we just haven't saved. Misty bee. Hold up. There we go. Muggy and Misty. I can't tell. They like both like the rain. Prefers a tropic climate. Prefers a temperate. So we want Misty to be the mother. That one's simple. We can do Misty Muggy with Misty as the mother. Watch our bar here. Even take this guy to the pinnet square if I want. Yep, and we got potential for a hybrid. Okay, that is interesting. There's some of these species I've just never gotten their stuff. So I have all this set up for worker bees? Or regal bees? Regal bees might be better. This guy's like really good. Six lifespan, five productivity. I'm gonna clone him real quick. It's honestly, I don't know. Do I want to deal with infinite... Worker bees going crazy. I gotta pay attention to the clock a little. Worker bees, we need ones with like five, six, yeah. Yeah, the six, five regal dude is really good then. Okay, there we go. That gives me 30 seconds left. When it becomes not daytime. One thousand second lifespan. Wow. Yeah, that is a strong B. Okay, there we go. It's night now, it's sleeping, we'll worry about this guy now. Now, this needs to be on... There we go. So we'll go as long as these bees live, which is not that long, but hey, get more murky bees. I guess I could use this frame to figure out what certain bees make. Really could use that speed potion, but I have to wait on that.
guess, is there a fertility flower? Productivity... Oh, it's too hot for them. Well... Contented. Now let me... I bet it, if I really knew what Bee Well does. I guess it probably just... Does it just auto-calm? Maybe. <laughs> If I look at the flower menu... Lifespan lower... Bees knees, that's the fertility one, okay. I already had one of these here, oh well. Didn't get too many murky bees, but we have more, kinda. All right, I'm gonna wait until our bee box gets up to five. This is some Pete gaming. We're not in the looker part of the game, I'm not even finding new bees, but I'm gaming. Bees don't like this climate, it's too hot. Well, it doesn't matter, it's asleep too. So we'll wait 80 seconds on this guy. Oops, got some money. We got enough for a second smoker if I really want. So what was it? I guess basically... I guess fertility is low. I guess that doesn't super matter. Like, we'll probably just clone this guy, because I don't really want the bee produce. I just want flowers and honey from these. We'll just go for a ton of honey, get royal jelly, which is kind of as a produce item, but whatever. Go from there. Oh, now they're angry. Uh-oh, these bees kind of glitched out, I think. The bee drawing stopped working. They got angry and they just froze. It's kind of how anger works in real life. So waiting on these guys. These guys should come active at twilight. I guess if we need to be more precise, we'll ask the professor dude how to get twilight bees. He's got the hints for us. Heater nearby. Alright, yeah, I think it's just despawned. Kind of funny. Got a bunch of murky bees. 
So now I can make hybrids if I need to. These guys are coming out. It's dawn, twilight. Hopefully 3 a.m. in general just counts as twilight. Uh-oh. Okay, so there's all this goldenrod. That's why this regal queen is gonna take forever to clone. I see. I've made a miscalculation. Alright, hopefully I get lucky here. Oh, we got him. The Twilight Bee. We even got two. Although, I guess with Royal Jelly, you can just make one a queen. And get clones from there. Said to be Heralds of the Hive, Mother. These bees are half-remembered myths, only found in children's stories. These bees were proven to exist. The implications would be divine. I got two of these guys. And some dream bees and a purebred bee. Alright, well, I mean, yeah, there's a reason to hoard royal jelly, I guess. We gotta use a microscope with these guys. They have very low stats in general. Okay, well, we wanna clone the one with good fertility. A Twilight Bee Box. So we need more Bee Boxes in general. Any item that can represent night? I guess... Kinda? It's Twilight. And I can't put a bed down. I mean, I could put a bed down, but... Can you paint the bed? Actually... Because these guys, well, these guys are pink, and then these guys are purple. Which doesn't really help. It's pink dye, but I need to use comb bristle for that. That. That did not do what I thought it would, but, you know... Painting this game is a bit weird. They tried, I guess. This one's a bit of a mutant. Let's let it stay. This one can go. I mean, honestly, I'll probably just leave the lamp for Twilight Bees. Go ahead and get a couple more bee boxes down, though. You know, I think I'm getting close to the infinite bee box thing, but... This arrangement almost looks cooler. Who even would bother? Oh, okay, was I going for a clone? I guess I was. Misty Muggy? Yeah, I was trying to do Misty... Misty Muggy, because I think that one was going to give me a hybrid, possibly. Now if I go... 
Something like Muggy V. How am I? many am I at? 19? Alright, we're slowly getting there. I need three more. It can't st hint. It can't stand to be near other bees. Only active at night. Quite aggressive. Okay. We need to make sure this queen is not near any other bees. Alright, I have so many muggy bees. Are there ones with just bad stats? Do I just pick a random one? I guess the lower number is the worst, right? Oh, these guys are going ham. Also, I guess even the stray hive probably can't be here. Within its working vicinity. If I had a guess. Are they... Mm, that might be far away enough. If not, soon. We'll try again. I'm just trying to make some clones here. I will get the worker bee thing done eventually. A lot of misty bees. They're all just straight fours. So I guess I can just release one of them. Oops, I just want to see what the Misty Bee makes. It makes Shrouded Dye, a dark, sticky dye. Makes for a cool paint. Oh, okay. That's actually kind of a cool thing to make bees make in this game. So they just give you a unique dye. Heck yeah. I mean, obviously, we gotta figure out what shrouded dye even looks like. Maybe that wasn't the best example. It's kind of just a black dye. It's very subtle. Alright, I'm at max beeswax. That's good enough, then. On giant honey drop. Might as well max out on these flowers. These guys didn't make a lot of honey. Some clones. Even more Twilight Bees going if I really want. Oh, they're all just low stat bees. This is so silly. 
Oh, you can buy the, the wax canisters as well. Okay. Some lonely bees forming. Shine going. Oh, we didn't get anything new. I tried. There's no bees in the area, though. I verified. Well, so I can try again. Oops, do not throw the bee in there. I guess this one's blessed, so you gotta keep it, but... How close am I to rehabilitating rehabilitating the muggy bee? We're rallying. Getting close. Five hundred seconds for this one. I guess goldenrod here is kind of a bad thing. Just makes them live too long. Oh yeah, if there's a thing that let you see where the goldenrod affecting them is. Probably here? There we go. I don't see the goldenrod now in the stack. We gotta make sure we keep that away from there. Let's go and see if we get our hybrid. May not, though. Okay, we get so many blessed bees. Alright, the battery's already charged back up. The golden rod here was not ideal. Alright, well, it gave me a ton of blessed Twilight Bees. Trying to tell me something. Bless up. Longer lifespan trait. Okay, these bees kind of suck in some ways. And they're just. Twilight Bees are just here to vibe. I don't have good traits. Alright, so once this worker finally produces offspring, because they have such a long life... I guess you do the minus lifespan plant, right? Whatever one that is. It does exist. I don't know if I have it here. I 
think. Comb bristle. There we go. It exists. I guess I just don't have any here. Really gotta get comb bristle farmed. Well, I guess this is a reason to keep your apiary separate. Although this is kind of a rough... This is just rough. I guess I could put it here, and then just this apiary needs to go... Like, over here. That way it doesn't share this comb bristle. With these guys. Interesting, it doesn't show the comb bristles affecting these guys. I think it would. Oh, really? It's gotta be a lone. It's a lone bee. Surely, there are no other bees in the vicinity. At least, like, where they can get flowers. Maybe I'm missing something? Go back to the bee Wikipedia. Hermit bee. It can't stand to be near other bees, and only active at night. Oh, <laughs> wait, what did I do? Okay, maybe the sound effects are a little more effective in this game than I think. Too much of a hater. Right, Muggy Bee is about to be saved. I guess let's do a quest while I wait. Look at the quests. This one's infinite, but I need the ability to get that stuff for money. A vibrant bee with a polar climate. I can't do that yet. Regal bee, but with a rapid lifespan. That one I can do. That one I can set up right now. In fact, I already have one for some reason. So, easy. Maybe. Oh, it needs two! Okay, so we need to clone this guy. So we have a backup in case uh, we mess it up. And then we need to try and give it an even lower lifespan. That's kind of cruel. But kind of, I mean it just is. 88 seconds, Zam. Oh, is it because I broke the flower? What? These bees are sleeping. Alright, do I go farm the other honey core item? There's not really a lot of reason for me to leave the island right now. I could. Heavens of Betsy, the Twilight Bee. Isn't it adorable? Well, that settles it then. She has chosen you. Praise the Hive Mother. There should be more Hive Mother lore in the game. Well, I still need the Jurassic Bee. I haven't figured out how to get the Jurassic Bee yet. I might just need to hammer it. I guess maybe I need to use the heater. Let's try that. I forgot all about these guys. So I saw them. There's some frozen bees out in the ice. Ice Age 2. 
the meltdown. It's everyone's favorite Ice Age movie. Mine's the one with Nicki Minaj. Isn't that... Isn't that, isn't that one a thing? There they are. Alright, we got the frozen bees. Super rare. Ice block. Oh, okay, it's working. It turns out we need to melt the hive. There we go, we got it. Jurassic B. They were frozen in ice. We have brought back an ancient life form. It will soon take over. Despite recovering several frozen prehistoric specimens from archaeological digs, very little is known about Apis Praetaria. It's likely to be extinct. Oh, it gives us Roburum. Interesting. It just tells us what its produce is. That one's a very good one. That one gives us big money. actual bee fact on ancient bees is. I don't know if ancient bees are, uh, are real or not. I don't know if they're an insect that dates back that far. Maybe it's only millions of years, not billions. Oh, we got the other teleporter. Let's go. I think it was Twilight Bees that I needed. Six. Oh, I still need another 100 for the auto-squeezer, just for completionist's sake. I might farm for it. Well, they gave us a ton of Jurassic Bees. Because they really wanted to make sure we don't mess them up. If you accidentally throw all of them in the garbage... I do wonder what happens there. I guess they probably just spawns a queen in the Lost and Found. Actually, you probably have to buy a queen from that one dude. I was gonna say, is it possible to, like, softlock your game? You just delete these Jurassic Bees? Then you can't get any of their hybrids? Alright, quick money. Easy. Powered by bees. Alright, I got another sick achievement. About to get that 100%. Also, it's already 10 o'clock. <laughs> Just realize that. Ow. Time definitely passes in this game. Oh, what the heck? What are you buying? Uh, I don't have any more money, so I don't think anything. It's funny that you're here, though. I should get a jukebox. A 
figure out what to do. The Jurassic Bees. I guess they can go here? Come under the microscope first. They like all- they're active all day. Long lifespan, low other stats. That's just for the queen, though. This one has long lifespan, low weather stats. That one has okay stats. It has low productivity, but that's it. This one's a good bee. This one I would want to clone. I'm here with some royal jelly. Surely an ancient bee still likes royal jelly. JJ. There's the frosty bee. Oh, remember the snow? Can I even do anything with the snow? The game mentioned it was a crafting item, then I never did anything with it. Sell the squeezer for 80? Wait, hold up. Oh, because you had to buy the squeezer. That makes sense. Never mind. I thought it was something you could craft, and I'm like, wait a minute. I can just craft squeezers and make money. Not quite, though. There's still goldenrod in the range of this one. There we go, it's out now. Alright, so I got my cloned regal bee. Kinda. Okay, so it's got recessive traits for... Lower lifespan. Higher productivity. All right. Oh, then I cloned my low stability bees here. That makes sense. Yeah, unfortunately, these guys are very not prone to mutation, so... This is gonna be hard. Can I find a bee species it can hybridize with with an even lower lifespan or something? I guess this isn't even that hard. Twilight Bee or something? Just something that's just not got a good one. Frosty bees might work. Drowsy bees? Are you trying to do a drowsy hybrid? It's one that's not very stable at all. Probably clone it. Although, since it's not stable, I don't think the clones would be exact. That's how that works.
ahead and put the wood in here. What do we got here? We still don't have our... Muggy, misty... Hybrid bee. So I guess we'll get this guy's hint on Hermit. Because they're alone as far as I know. Do they need to be, like, super far? I don't like any other species of bee being, being near them. Like, how far is near? Try and putting, put them super far away. So I can try Muggy Misty as a combo as well. Oh, why'd I put the wood in here? Well, whoopsie. That was weird. I didn't mean to put the wood in there, but I guess it auto-filled that. Oh god. Infinite blessed bees. Infinite bees. There we go. We got more Jurassic bees. Breed these ones and try and get ones with even higher productivity. They almost look like mosquitoes. Maybe that was the play, though. Make them seem like unfamiliar bees. They're too weird. Alright, I feel like releasing a fossil species just into the wild is kind of irresponsible, but that's just me. I mean, I'm not even sure how I got a Regal Bee with this low of lifespan. I just want ones that are very unstable, but... We could try an unstable... Regal Bee. So we don't really care about productivity on this one. Oh, that's a drowsy bee. What the heck? Okay, I think I tried cloning the low stability one, or at least the one with, like, that is a recessive gene. Too stable. It won't mutate. Life finds a way. And just introduce a single dinosaur into the world. It's fine. Life will find a way for them to have more than one. Now, these were all the special bees that I wanted. They're low fertility, but doesn't matter. We got that production. I 
Try and crossbury these guys. It's like this one can be a queen. Got all the high stats. We just need life and productivity to be high. The bees are sleeping. Why are they sleeping? Oh, these ones are... Because they were bred from drowsy bees. They want to sleep. I see. Alright, it's time to use these farm things. We're going to worry about honey for 30 minutes now. Okay, these guys have 10 seconds. Jurassic Bees. Jurassic Park Bee Edition. Insects were bigger in ancient times, supposedly. So maybe you have a premise there. These are some high stat ones. Is not the right thing. So where can I put my honeycomb? Me want honeycomb. Okay, so from this harvest, we should get an insane amount of honey. That's what the goal of this is. Or you have like a hundred from just a couple. Three sixty, like the Xbox. Man, I this this literally is the game. Like I've been standing at my base the whole time. And just visually, like if I had to explain to someone why do you like this game? Couldn't. These guys are going to keep going. Let's store all the seeds. Oops. Our honey container is almost full, okay. These guys are going a little crazy. Wait, are these both blessed queens? That's a mega... mega coincidence. I 
shake these frames. These bees, oh my god. We're gonna be doing this for 900 seconds. Alright, I'm gonna wait until these fill up a little then. We'll figure out something else to do. That's 900 seconds. How long is that? Is that 10 minutes? 5 minutes? It's a very long-lived bee. Yeah, we're getting a crazy amount of honey from this. Filling up the mead tank. Here we go. I'm just sitting here for until these bees are done. Just nine, still 900 whole seconds. This is gaming. Alright, this honey tank is completely full. I gotta watch out. Yeah, I'm just ga gaming by having these menus open, that's it. Yeah, this thing is gonna fill up with honey, just from two of these. Oh, wow. I mean, I guess if I wanted honey, this is honey. Careful what you wish for. I'll find a way to store all this honey. There we go. Alright, I guess it's night. Night gives us a reprieve. Well, it's a dusk right now, but... It will eventually stop. This is the peak gameplay loop here. I didn't realize how crazy of a bee combo I had. Because, they're, because their lifespan is so long. We might... Yeah, we might just tire out these frames by the time... Anything can be produced. I guess I'll get a heck ton of money from this as well. Maybe. Yeah, I think the bees are finally asleep now, so we have... No, it's still producing. Are they caffeinated? Is that why? I feel bad. They're just factory workers. Yeah, looks like I've wore out some of the frames. Just gotta watch out.
All right, now they're sleeping. All right, we finally get a break. If only a brief one. I guess we're killing the battery of this thing, too. Okay, well... I have an insane amount of honey. I probably will beat another thing. Oh, that was not a fake alert. Okay. The fake alert sounds. If I really want, I can fill up the mead tank. And satisfying. The liquids go up. You gotta get maximum liquids. Liquid intensive game. Alright, so I'm looking for regal bees. Recessive for low, what the heck? Like, we might just need like a two lifespan bee to crossbreed with. Not gonna work out any other way. Alright, that should be all the royal jelly I will ever need. That's decent money, just from one set of bees. What were these guys? Oh, I just needed more drowsy bees? Question mark? Is that all I was going for? I think so. And then these guys... Are they far enough from any other bees? Oh, they are. We finally got the dr Kermit bee. Kermit bee. Orange. Said an age has passed. The Hive Mother blessed struggling islanders. The archipelago with the bee. Heralding a new era of prosperity and peace. Hermit bee is a rare example of prehistor these prehistoric bees. Oh, and it makes Calidus. Okay. My guess is we don't need to do it this way. Too bad I just sold the royal jelly. Grumpy rain lover. Okay. At least for now, we want to put it, like, over here. How many drowsy bees do I have? Seven? These are, like, all clones, so... Definitely can release a couple. Same with, like, the misty muggy ones. Yeah, I have plenty of muggy bees. Misty bees, I don't quite have as many, so I'm not releasing them. Oh, we saved one of the bees, though.
Apidus Humidus. Fearless Explorer. Raise the swamps and restores the Maggie Bee. What do you mean, foul waters? It's number 13. So that's Apis Petra. Alright, we gotta get every single bee saved. I wanted royal jelly. This item's more useful than I thought it would be. With a lot of bees, you just want perfect clones of. Genetically engineered honey. Sorry, you get GMOs in this game. Okay, they these guys are expensive. They want the purple or white pond flowers to calm them. It's too cold, and they need it to be hot. Okay. The grumpy bees really are grumpy. Well, I'll just have to hoard flowers. Okay, well, I want to grow hives bane. And pond shine. And bees knees, apparently. This one bee just wants a billion bees knees. To burn. There we go. Good enough. I think they aren't asleep. It's too cold. Nope, they are sleeping. That's what I thought. God damn it. I got owned. I got a break here. Oh, that really worked out. So all these frames were about to break. I got lucky here. Alright, I guess I'll play when, until the this B set is done. That gave me like a crazy amount of honey. Amount of honey has never been seen before. They still have 400 seconds remaining. I'm getting plenty of flower seeds, too, which is helpful. Can't rename crates. It's probably not the most efficient to babysit it like that, but what I decided to do.
Alright, I guess I might as well hoard some royal jelly. So I don't need the money that bad. Maybe even the beeswax. Just hoard everything. I don't need anything. It's fine. Yeah, the rain really lucked me out there. I guess I, yeah, I'll wait to finish this B cycle out, and then I'll call it a night. This game can just play forever if you want. It's got that grip on you. Are they asleep? Dang it. Not the right time of day. Charging it to BV. I mean, I guess you could just... throw in your stuff, but... Not too worth it. I guess we'll babysit this, because I don't know what else to do here. Okay, I am going to need, like, two other containers for honey. Nice to know. Yeah, we're just- we're fully all microing these now. We're running out of frames. How long these guys got? 300 seconds! Oh. Okay. Man, half these frames are already breaking. I don't know what you do there. Yeah, they're producing, they're producing very quickly. We might have to get more frames out. Alright, while I walk away from this for a second... It's not anywhere near time yet. It's dusk, so I think these guys would come out. Nope, they're still sleeping. Well... Thought I was on to something. Yeah, these guys are running through the frames real quick.
I think I think all the uses will be expired by the time I get through with them. I'm gonna need another thing for honey. Okay, maybe having infinite wax containers isn't such a bad idea. Alright, I'm getting two more frames out because I'm missing so many. Alright, we're running into issues here. Honeycore frames are almost too good. Alright, we're, no, we're nowhere near the end of the tunnel. This is still going. There's some crazy bees. And the fact that this is automatic is almost un inconsequential. I guess maybe it's quicker? I don't even know. This is... Oh, this is just so much honey. Like, I will never need honey again. Ever. I'll be sick of it. Too much sugar. Alright, looks like we got two more or three more loads still. You know, like it's a dishwasher. I'm just waiting. Uh, I guess 20 seconds. Yeah, we got one more thingy left. Alright. So no need to be as time crazy. So once they're done here, they're just done. That was a crazy cycle, though. Like, how many frames did they go through? They broke five. They broke almost all of them. That's like over 15. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven things of honey filled. It went a little hard in the paint. Basically. Now we get 120 honey per... That is so much honey. 120 honey. Every single time. Okay, yeah, we're completely full on Apicola, quote-unquote. That's what you believe it is. I 
Like, this is just so much honey. It's like I can have a honey tank. If I want to turn this into a honey tank, I'll need it to be one. Oh, maybe not, though. I guess I can get a honey barrel. That doesn't sound t good, but... So I guess waterproofing is more of a crafting ingredient, so it should go... here. Even though I'm kind of space... limited. Okay, we just filled up the honey tank with just two of these. I guess that's better than just the whole thing being full. Yeah, I said 2,000. It's only two and a half of these. in here too. That might help with honey storage at least. We empty a container? Looks like it. Alright, there we go. We have an insane amount of honey. In a barrel. That... Honey in a barrel doesn't sound like that would hold up well. Maybe, though... So I guess it's now I have Jurassic bees. I really should be using them for produce. Because they will make... a lot. This is how we get honey core. Alright, these guys just made more regal bees. Oh yeah, I was going for my low... I think we just need to find a bee species. That lets me breed on two. For lifespan. Oh, this one has recessive low life, this one does not. Okay, we'll double check if anything else is happening. These guys are happy. I don't- I actually don't remember what I was doing with the drowsy bees, but we're here. Oh, there they go. There we go. That should cover their lifespan.
Use a microscope to learn more. No. I waited too late, didn't I? It's gonna be daytime. The queen's only going to be halfway through their cycle. Oh well. So I'll release some drowsy bees. I think I already saved them though, didn't I? No, that was muggy bee. Okay. No, oh, really, that still wasn't enough to completely save them. They're close. They're just not that close. They're rallying. Alright. And yeah, now they're asleep. What the heck? These guys only... are only awake at super specific times. Even just to get a little more hermit bees. Gotta work hard. Well, I guess if I'm doing Jurassic Bees, I might as well take these guys out. I have 28 Regal Bees. I don't think I need that many. Like this guy, I have two of... A lot of them that I have two of, I don't really need two. Regal Bee's just vulnerable. No way to just auto-release them. There we go, Regal Bee's doing a little better. Alright, well I guess I'll call it for today here. This is just grinding in the B game. I find it enjoyable. I can play until 11. So you just go forever. Alright, we're getting more achievements that only 4% of players currently have. Which, I mean, the game is still less than a week old, but... Only 3... 4% of players have gotten all the Honeycore machines. So these are the rare achievements right here. Jurassic Bee? Only eight people bothered with the Jurassic Bee? Looks like a few more people have gotten Scrooge McBee now. Yeah, this game's fun. 13 hours so far. Um, I guess, I don't know. I'll have to decide if I just want to go ahead and just 100% it and then just play other games or what. We'll see. I do know I want to do some Smash next week. Like the next North of the City, that local quote-unquote net play things. Then Saturday after next. Stuff like that. Hmm. It's a lot of other random stuff I'm thinking about. You know, playing Zelda again? We'll see. Slime Rancher 2's coming out soon. I don't think I'm playing that release day, though. Yeah, because thanks for watching and hanging tonight. It was definitely more of just, I'm like, playing this game sort of stream. More than anything else. Yeah. I guess I'll stream something probably in the next day or two. 